Hi there. Today I'm going to play Zombie in My Pocket, a quick solitaire game that fits in your pocket. It's a free print and play game. And these are the rules. It starts with some flavor text. The dead walk the earth. You must search the house for the evil temple and find the zombie totem. Then take the totem outside and bury it in the graveyard all before the clock strikes midnight. There's the evil temple. There's the graveyard. There are components. There are eight indoor tiles. There are eight outdoor tiles. There are nine development cards. And I also have a score sheet, a sharpie to keep track of things, and a pawn to uh, represent where I am. Set up. Place the foyer tile on the table. Set aside the patio tile. Shuffle outdoor and indoor tiles into separate face-down stacks. Shuffle the dev cards and discard the top two cards face-down. Okay, so we take indoor tiles and we will shuffle them. Shuffling for eight cards, well, seven cards, and then we take the outdoor tiles, we do the same thing, shuffle them, don't need those yet, take the dev cards or development cards, shuffle them, Take the top two dev cards, set them aside. Record your starting attack, one, and health scores, six. Health. So attack is one, health is six. These numbers will change over the course of the game. No upper limit on either. Note the starting time of 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Indoor turn sequence. Choose an exit door into a new room or room already visited. If a new room, draw and place an indoor tile. Well, this is going to be a new room, so I draw a tile and I will place it like this. It says on it, plus one health, if and turn here. It's the kitchen. So I place it. I'm starting here. Draw a dev card even if revisiting a room. If there are no cards left, see time passes. Looks, look at the text corresponding to your current time. Okay, so at 9 p.m., slip on nasty goo, minus one health. So my health goes from six to five. But I'm finishing my turn here, and it does say plus one health. If end turn here, so my health goes back up to six. Because I'm in the kitchen. Okay, so we go into another room. It's the dining room, which is the one room that you can actually exit out of. That's indicated by an arrow right there. What happens when we enter the dining room? We find an item. Item. You may draw the next dev card, finding the item shown on that card. If you choose not to draw, you don't get an item. Well, I would like to have an item, so I get the candle. Candle. Combine with oil or gas to kill all zombies on one tile without taking damage. I have the candle, which by itself doesn't really give you anything, unfortunately. All right, I still have not found the evil temple, so we are going to draw another indoor tile. What we find is the family room. Into the family room, what happens? You try hard not to wet yourself. Okay, well then, maybe I'll not wet myself, I guess. Uh, still haven't found the evil temple. Next card, storage. It says may draw a new card to find an item. We move in. We draw a development card to find out what happens in there. Four zombies. 
Okay, combat. To resolve combat with zombies, subtract your current attack score from the number of zombies you face to find the amount of health you lose in defeating the zombies. Number of zombies minus attack score equals damage received. You can never lose more than four health points in one battle. You can never gain health points in combat. Okay, so I have an attack of one. There are four zombies. That means I take three points of damage and my health goes down to three. Because I'm in the storage room, I can resolve I can I can pull another card to find an item. I have found the chainsaw. So I now have the chainsaw. Add three to attack score only has enough fuel for two battles. Alright, so I add three to my attack score, that goes up to all right so i move let's see back into the family room and what happens in the family room four zombies i have an attack of four so i don't take any damage but i use up one of my two chainsaw uses All right, so exit the family room. I find. Let's see. There we go. I find the bedroom. I go to pull a development card. There isn't one. Time passes. The game starts at 9 p.m. An hour has passed each time you need to draw a dev card, and there are none left. Note the new time and use this time when resolving new dev cards. Reshuffle the deck, including the two discarded cards in setup and discard the top two cards. If an item card is the last card drawn, reshuffle the deck and discard as described above and draw the first card from the new deck to determine the item found. So it is no longer 9 p.m. It is 10 p.m. We take all of our development cards and shuffle them. We discard the top two cards, move into the bedroom, and what happens at 10 p.m.? Item! All right, well, let's see what that item is. It is the Grizzly Femur. I'm going to read items here. When a dev card shows item for your time, you may draw the next dev card, finding the item shown on the new dev card. Record the items you carry as cards are shuffled back into the deck when time passes. You may only hold two items at once. If you have two items, you must drop one to pick up another. Dropped items disappear when you leave that tile. You can only use one weapon in combat, though you may carry two. I am going to drop the candle to pick up the grizzly femur grizzly femur because that chainsaw only has one use left um, as it is right now and uh, I'm going to use the chainsaw but once it's out of gas then I'm going to go to the grizzly femur and my attack will be redu reduced down to two Anyway, so we exit the bedroom. We have found the bathroom. Well, this is taking far too long to find the evil temple. We move into the bathroom. What happens? At 10 p.m., you feel a spark of hope, plus one health. Well, that's good. Health goes up to four. All right, we need to find the evil temple there's an exit down here so i'm going to head down here and then off this way so we move into the bedroom 10 p.m item now for items you may draw the next dev card you're not required to so i am not going to do that this time i'm just going to move back into the kitchen and at 10 p.m. in the kitchen, four zombies. 
All right, my attack is four, so I don't take any damage. But I do use the second use of the chainsaw, which means from now on I'm going to be using the grizzly femur, which means my attack will be two. I finished this turn in the kitchen, so as it says, I get plus one health if I end my turn here. So my health goes up to five. And finally, I found the evil temple. Move into the evil temple, and it says resolve a new card to find the totem. All right, a bat poops in your eye, minus one health when I enter the evil temple. And now I need to resolve a card to find the totem. Four zombies. Well, I have an attack of two. There are four zombies. So I take two points of damage, and my health goes down to two. But I have the totem. Mark that down. Totem. Yay, totem. All right. Now my job is to get out of the dining room to outside and then wander around and try to find the graveyard. Once again, no development cards. So I move into the kitchen and it comes 11 p.m. Shuffle the development cards again. Whoa! A little more shuffling, I guess, since I just revealed two of the cards. Discard the top two cards, and what happens when I enter the kitchen? At 11 p.m., six zombies. Okay, well, uh, I have an attack of two. There are six zombies. That means that I would take four points of damage, but I only have a health of two. So, running away. When you draw a dev card with zombies, you can choose to avoid combat by running through a door or grassy edge into any previously explored tile. The zombies swipe at you as you leave, taking away one health point. Do not draw a dev card for the room you're running into. So, I am going to run away. Run away into the dining room. And I take a point of damage. And I'm down to one. Well, that's not good. Cowering. After completion of a turn sequence in a tile, you may curl up into a corner and hide. You regain three health points but lose time. Discard the top dev card without resolving. So I'm going to do that right now. I am going to cower, discard a dev card, and my health goes from one to four. Okay, so moving outdoors. The only way to exit the house is through the dining room's exterior door, which is marked by an arrow. When you exit, place the patio tile next to the dining room tile, lining up the arrows, then draw and resolve a dev card as normal. Outdoor turn sequence. Turns progress outside as they did inside. However, instead of choosing an exit door, choose an open grassy edge to exit from. You may not pass through hedges. One grassy edge on the new outside tile must match your exit edge. Okay, so we have passed. We are passing into the patio area. And what happens? Four zombies. I have an attack of two. So, I take two, and my health goes back down to two. Things are not looking good. I am going to cower again, so I take another dev card and discard it. And my health goes back up to five. Getting low on development cards. 
Next. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I found the graveyard. I move into the graveyard. What happens? Four zombies. So, I have an attack of two. The four zombies therefore do two to me, and I have a health of three. Let's see. I am really low, but I... Let's see, it says, resolve a new card to bury Totem. Hmm. All right, we're going to try it. Something in your mouth. Minus one health. Okay, my health goes down to two. But I have resolved a new card and buried the Totem. I win! That's been... Zombie in my pocket. If you liked this video, please click the like button, leave a comment, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it. If you didn't like the video, click the dislike button and leave a